by my talk is gonna be way less humanist than the previous one. But uh, first, just to check, who already heard about Nix in the room? Okay, who do functional programming with Haskell, Rust, or whatever on a regular basis? More or less the same? Okay. Okay, so I will speak a little bit about like Nix and like uh, what it is. Like it's a functional package manager and I will explain what I uh, mean by that. Um, like I hate the idea to speak about functional programming at nine o'clock in the evening the first day, but uh, after like a talk on Monday on package manager, or at least motivating people to do, like Conan, and also another talk of Microsoft on package manager, I thought, yeah, let's package all the thing on just at one. Um, like, if you want to know a little bit about Nix, if you don't know yet, it's kind of a special package manager in the sense that it's articulated around the functional uh, domain-specific language, which is very close to all the ML language. Um, it provides a lot of packages, like almost most of them, like the biggest Linux distribution, Debian, Red Hat, and Fedora, and Co. It's one of the most active projects on GitHub. Like you have a crazy number of people that commit to that, like updating the package on many from the function community. If you want to have a look, just put like Nix, NixOS on GitHub. And some dude did a Linux distribution around that. But it does not matter much. Like what matters is that this thing is in fact really interesting for C++. Uh, why interesting? Because in one world, one thing that uh, like Nix brings compared to other package manager is reproducibility. And if you don't care about reproducibility, it's probably because you never get to this kind of situation where like, you get the classical things like, yeah, my code was working before, like three months ago, and I updated my Linux distribution, but it's not working anymore. Or something different, which is more like, yeah, your dear colleague, like, my code just worked on my machine, <laughs> not on yours, I'm sorry for you. And you have to first figure out that, yeah, you probably get a version of compiler which is tiny bit different, a glibc which is different, like a package that you, that you didn't, or like whatever side effect you have on your distribution. Like the reason why Nix is different is because it had been programmed by functional programmer on Nazi, in fact. And like everything is self-contained inside slash Nix store. Everything you build is self-contained inside this prefix, including even the glibc, the compiler itself, and everything. And every package you declare is a stateless function, in fact. So like you just have a set of build input, like where you build your package, and you get a new input, but you can reuse another function, no more complicated than that. And like it's a stateless function, the beauty of it is that you can cache it, and you cannot get binary distribution out of that. Um, another strong point about it is it works because everything is isolated. Like they did it in a way that uh, everything is built in a clean environment by another user, uh, it's sandbox, and everything can be even built on another machine uh, separately if you Like it's really like they put a lot of effort on that. Um, every build is also, every uh, recipe is also hash cri cryptographically, and this is the prefix of your package, meaning like you can have 20,000 versions of the same package in parallel, if you change a bit the build recipe or if you change the, the source, they can coexist in parallel, you don't have issue. Uh, just to get you a little bit bored, like this is like how to build upsell, for instance, just hold me. Uh, that's one colleague of mine that did that when I get excited and upsell has been announced. And like this is more or less how you can build. Like, sorry for the deadly color, but like I was supposed to be conditioned between the legs. Uh, on this, what you see there is nothing else than a function, in fact, a lambda function. The top part, the red one, is like the parameter that you insert in your lambda. The, the big square one is like your lambda function to build upsell. This is where you pick up the source. This is a function again. On the bottom part is just like what kind of package you put inside the function that you want to build. Nothing very complicated. On all you do like a package collection, maintain an entire package collection with Nix is like you just have a giant recipe with that on like a name of variable that just will refer to the kind of package that you have seen just before. And so like you get like 10,000 package like that where you can <laughs> just pass the normal parameter of like the other package variable name. Or you can also override like if you want to just use specific dependency or things like that. And you can have as many versions as, uh, of one package as you want in parallel and that's okay. And when you want to build it, you just get in the directory where you have the recipe. 
you do build, name of the package, and it's gonna trigger the build automatically and install it and return you like the magic assembly thing. And honestly, I found it quite awesome. So, often, I'm using it.